I've been asking the question nonstop of all of my coaching clients, what would it take to get a buyer that we just met into a buyer consultation and then into contract in the shortest amount of time possible? What would it take? What would be the, uh, the scripts, the mindset, the consultation, what would we cover? What would, what would we need to have happen to go from, hey, I'm interested in buying all the way to under contract in the shortest amount of time possible. What's so funny to me is that all of you, my great coaching clients, great rock star real estate agent friends, we all know exactly how to do that with a seller. If I said, hey, I'm interested in selling my home and I was like, well, I'm probably not, I'm not ready yet. I'm gonna probably do it sometime maybe in the spring you would know exactly what to do. You would book the appointment. You would do this deep dive qualify, qualifying script on me, ask me lots and lots of questions, take me through the whole market cycle presentation. You'd walk me through everything and you'd probably list my house within 30 days or less. How did we do that? And why can't we do that with buyers? See, this is what we're going to work on. So I have been nonstop just trying to think, what are the qualities and the characteristics of, of this consultation flow that we have mastered on the sell side? What would it take on the buy side? Let's take a look at a couple factors that are critical. Step number one, we need to get purchasing power established. Commonly referred to as pre-approved. Purchasing power needs to be established. Step number two is motivation needs to be established. See, when we deal with sellers nonstop, it's all about the motivation. We all know that all top listing agents, we know how to get the seller's motivation. We ask all these very specific questions and we pull that motivation out. Once we get it, we got them. What about on the buy side? How come we don't do that on the buy side? What is the buyer's motivation? Once we establish that buyer's motivation with them, now we've got also a little bit of loyalty. Number two is lifestyle priorities. People buy homes to improve the quality of their life. That's one of the main reasons. So part of the motivation is lifestyle qualities that they want to achieve. There's also, as my great client, Eric, Lambert said is self-actualization. It's really, I, there's a little bit of an identity, right? Of, hey, I bought in, I live here, I bought a house. So motivation, lifestyle priorities. If the buyer reveals that to you as, the, as, a, as an agent, and we have a deep dive conversation with them about that, isn't there a little bit of loyalty now that we just got? Bing, bing, bing. That's what we need to be doing in the consultation. Next is we've got purchasing power. We got motivation. We've got lifestyle priorities. Now it's our time to flex our muscles and our knowledge as a real estate agent. What do we need to do? We need to take a look at location, property types, and the pros and cons of what's going on and the product type out there in the marketplace. Hey, buyer, based upon purchasing power, motivation, lifestyle priorities, now I understand you should look at this neighborhood. We should talk about this area. We should be looking at these things. Now, I know there's some challenges with this going on out there in the world, but this is just what a good real estate advisor and, comp and, and a counselor does. Let's look at all of your product options and let me share some pros and cons of those in relationship to what's important to you. So I know this is a, such a sticky point right now in the industry, but the reality is, is that's what they're looking for in advice from a realtor who understands communities, neighborhoods, property types, right? You want the big, the big lot, you're gonna get it here. Your purchasing power says, we need to do it over here. You don't care about the commute? Perfect. We can go get you the better property here, right? You really want to be in the heart of things and walkability, but your purchasing power is only here. Your lifestyle priorities are these. We can get you into a really cool townhome, right? It's not going to be single family, but you can achieve all of these other things for you. So what happens when we talk about location, 
property type pros and cons, that's when they go, wow, that realtor really understands what's available out there. They understand me, they understand what I can afford, and now they're helping me to see the marketplace more clearly. They are an asset to me. Ding, ding, ding. Last piece to the puzzle is really the market presentation talking about is this a buyer's market or a seller's market and what does that mean? Because when I find you your perfect house, then I wanna make sure that you and I are on the same page of what it's gonna to take to seal the deal and win that property. Now, in right now we're all dealing with low inventory, higher buyer demand. And so in a low inventory, high buyer demand, it's not, we're gonna get you a good deal. It's I'm gonna get you the best property at, at a good price and I wanna make sure you don't overpay. It's really, I wanna make sure you don't overpay. You're not gonna get a good deal. See, what I learned when we go in and talk to a seller and the seller says, I want this high price, what do we do as top listing agents? We go into motivation, have deep conversation about motivation, and then we do a market presentation and a comp presentation. And our goal is to bring them back down to reality. And then we then show them all of the amazing things that we do to sell their home for the highest possible price. So a buyer says to you, we want to get a good deal. What do you do? The same thing. We do a mark, you get A, go back to the motivation. B, we review everything with them. Then we go into, let me explain the market, buyer, seller, marketplace. Then what do we do? We then go, here's what's going on with the comps in that area that you want. Let me help you understand price per square foot. Let me, let's look at some sold properties so you can understand list price to sales price. Hi, Adrian. Give me one second. Then, we go into other way around. Let's see, hold on. Okay, then we go into the final thing, which is here's what I'm gonna do on negotiation to help you win that property. So again, on the sell side, we say, here's what I'm gonna do to market your property. That's why you hire me as an expert to get you more money. On the buy side, we say, here's all the awesome things I'm gonna do in terms of comps and market analysis and negotiation to make sure you don't overpay. So you can see that on the buy side, this we gotta follow the same path that we do on the sell side and this will allow us to really speed the process up. We got a lot of skills to work on in this presentation. We've all mastered it on the sell side. Let's do it on the buy side. Let me know what is the most important thing that you learn and thanks, Adrian, for popping in on the session. We're going to talk a lot about that today. And let me know, what's the most important thing that you learn in this session and that you need to get to work on? And let's get to work on crushing the buy side of the industry. Thanks.